Wow. Okay. That last thumb was a little spicy, but a disturbing number of you really want Starbase to explode. I even said right in the title, I promised that Starbase did not explode. But we're kicking it off with another Starbase summary. That was a tank headed out to the launch site. Back over the production site, here are some Scrap Ship 32 parts. Say that ten times fast. I'm actually on the road today, recording out of New York City in a hotel out here for Kids Week at the Intrepid Museum. More on that later. There are some piping deliveries. Got the SpaceX logo on the... I guess that's a cap, not technically a blind. What does that say? IPE pipe size, 24 inches, 600 millimeters. Some stuff I'd have to quint, squint down to see the rest of. The truck's been places. Are these... Okay. I'm going to guess. I haven't actually... Well, let's look at this from 15 different angles before I say anything. Is this another vacuum jacketed pipe? We've seen those come in before. It's like a pipe inside of a pipe. And there's like insulation or vacuum insulation on the outside. I do not know if that's what that was. Y'all correct me if you think it's something different. But my uh, my first view made it... I, I really think that that looks like some sort of insulated pipe. I may be wrong. Here is a tank being installed over at the launch site. This is one of the cool things about these videos. Like, I, I'm not sitting here like, oh, I know everything about Starbase. And really, I'm just going to repeat a bunch of stuff that friends that work at SpaceX told me. Like, that's not what happens in these videos. I watch the video. I'm like, oh, that's a cool excavator. Look at that torn up concrete. It's got rebar in it. Are we, are we actually doing anything here? Or maybe it's lunchtime. I mean, I, I just watched the video. And I tell y'all what I think. I'm not trying to be the end-all, be-all, know-all of Starbase, but I have a lot of fun doing this, and I learn a lot of stuff, and I hope y'all do too. Got a bobcat, a Kubota-flavored bobcat there, because that's a bobcat. Doing a little dirt work. Oh, wow, what are those? That's interesting. I will go do more research and figure out what those red things are, because that's actually really interesting, so that in a future video, I'll, I'll know when I see them. That's ship 36 nose cone. Opening the door a little bit, you can see the rest of a starship there behind it. You see the tiles on the ship behind it, and it was sort of rolling in the doors. Oh, we've been seeing this thing rolling around quite a bit. There's a massive chopstick actuator to open and close the chopsticks. Not so that you can have chopstick raves. I mean, you can have chopstick raves if you want. It's fine. But a lot of uh, good views here of all the crane work to get that right in position. Then they got a couple of chain, you know something, or they come alongs. They got some chain hoists is maybe the right way to say it to get it in exactly the position there. Starbase traffic update coming, oh, that's cool. <laughs> coming out of the fog. I was going with the traffic update bit, but that was really cool seeing the ship sort of emerge out of the fog. Maybe rewind back and uh, see that. I didn't know that ship was gonna appear. That's really cool. Got some robotic cameras here. Those bright lights, a little difficult with the focus sometimes, but once again, cannot say thank you enough to all the SBL operators. We have teams of people that are just based all over the world in all sorts of different time zones. In whatever time this sort of stuff is happening, somebody's logging into the cameras and pointing them in the direction so that we can share this stuff with you. It really does take a huge team effort to make this happen. Wait, what? Stop sign blows away? <laughs> it's, it's like a stop sign tumbleweed. And of course it lands such that it rolls out of frame. Well, apparently we've, we've got the stop sign back. Okay. How many rocket scientists does it take to install a stop sign? Well, three didn't cut it. Or maybe we're going to have to go get the rocket scientist. Stop sign returned again. Oh, here we go. They fixed it off camera and then they brought it back over there and stood it up. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. They look like the security guys over there. Getting that stop sign taken care of. Oh, hey. But chopstick action there, and then another drive into Starbase. Let's see if this is the whole route. So we just passed the port connector. The new Massey's gun range was back there on the right-hand side a little ways. We're going to pass. All right. Following the red truck. A little bit of a hazy day. This is like super speed. 
The road got nicer, so we must have went past Massey's there. We came out of the trees. The stop, the uh, the power lines are going to end. Go underground. We're going to come up to Starbase. There's the assembly area where they're working on new altitude. There's the mural. There's the production site. There's the star factory. There's the tob, the office building. There's the village on the left hand side now. Bunch of parking. That was the LBJ where the hard roadblock is. Our camera site over there on the left. That wasn't ours. That was the second camera site. Going all the way over here past the reflecting pool. Cars parked. Lots of people working. Hopper on the left. Gate on the right. Slow down a little bit. Old vertical tank farm. There's this cryofilling stations. Now we're out to the beach. Tough to turn those RVs around out there. And onto the sand. Almost high tide. Look at how far up the beach that tide is coming. Jack, thank you for that. Uh, I mentioned that in a previous video, and it looks like Jack delivered with that drive all the way into Starbase. And so here, we've got a side-facing camera. This is sort of starting at the, uh, that's the production site there, the high base, mega base. There's the star factory with the windows that you see those shots inside. Evenly spaced palm trees, Bobcat. The connector and the office building with the logo. Is that going to get a, no, because that's a road. That's not going to get a big parking lot in front of it. Huh. I, I mean, that, like, what's going to be in front of that? It's like landscaped there. That's interesting. See how long those palm trees last. This place has really come along. Wow. This is all sides of the Star Factory. Then you can see back past the Star Factory there, all the way back to the production sites. The village is on the other side, and because that's where people live, right? They work at all the production sites and stuff like that. But they live in the village, so personally, we don't post video from out of the village very often. Um, or at all, I actually don't know. But... Uh, we tend to not do drive-throughs of the villas because that's people's houses and they're out walking with their kids and stuff like that. That's not the content we're covering here, right? We're covering Pad B's launch mount. The, <laughs> what did we say? This would be the LMB. Oh, that doesn't work as well as the LMAO. I do read just about every comment y'all put down there and I try to respond to a bunch of them. So last time after I said it was just the LMA, I got a bunch of LMAOs. People just laughing their derrieres off, I guess. But work continuing on the mural there. Let's see if I can... Are they sealing something? Are they stapling something? What did y'all think they were doing there? Here's those Ship 32 parts. Like the little landscaping in the, the brightly uh, painted fire hydrant there. Here's an SPMT with some stands on it. We got a, are we riding that one? Yeah, we're in the driver's seat, <laughs> the ride along SPMT. Sometimes if they don't have a really tall load, like a ship or a booster, they just they just ride the SPMT. A um, little bit easier, you don't have to be as concerned because it's not such a tall, uh, difficult to balance load, I guess you could say. So they ride them, but if they, if they got something big like a booster, they'll typically walk along side or well, along behind it. But there's the reflecting pool. Looking over at pad B, work continues on the chopsticks for pad B. All the draw works and that shielding and stuff. There's that big traveling block. A little bit of scaffolding so they can work all around that thing. Got the big cables in there now. You can see all the work they did with that. It's tied off. Look at all the workers. Like You can see the workers and you see how they're tied to the structure there, that's actually a really good one tying over the thing. And on the left hand side, you see you see how that guy's tied off to the little uh, the walking wire there. So they have look at the tops of the chopsticks in those elevated work areas, and they'll have those little elevated wires that they can tie off to. They they clip onto, then they can walk up and down and clip to the next one and that sort of stuff. Um, so they're not clipped into like one point like a D ring or something like that. They actually can move around but they're still positively attached to the structure. Here, we're back over with the red siren cannons. That's the pump area. I really do want to learn what the red things there. I don't know, I don't know what they are. Off the top of my head, pump related? Sure. That's one of the reasons I like this. Like if you were just driving down the road, would you look over there and be like, oh, what are, what are those red things, right? Nah, you keep driving. You need to keep your eyes on the road and not rear end the RV that's trying to figure out that it can't turn around on the beach. 
right? So I love to watch these videos and sort of see what's going on. Fence posts, are those bollards? Those look like big old bollards. Interesting, maybe you're gonna put a little bit more of a bollard in cable, yep, there you go. Too many people out there just completely ignoring the uh, no trespassing signs. They're big no trespassing signs and people just, ah. I can't even really say that I, I think they don't know any better. They walk right past the sign like they just don't care. So putting in a little bit more obvious, I guess it's a little bit more to step over a cable that's held up by a bunch of bollards here than it would be to just walk past a sign. I don't know. Sort of a bummer. Like the more people don't pay attention and don't use common sense when they're out there witnessing this amazing thing that we can stand next to and see, right? The more fences and walls and cables and all this stuff is going to go up. I do hope that it reaches a limit, right? It gets to the point where people, oh, geez, wow, I really shouldn't step over that cable. I bet you somebody's still going to jump over the cable and try to run and take a selfie with the thing. Anyways, that's going to be a view of the second chopsticks. They'll have the yellow straps in there. There's that big cables that got reeved. In fact, it says on the screen, the traveling block, block is fully reeved with all of the cables there. Chopsticks are closed all the way together. They're going to clean up some of those seams. The seams look like uh, ground, grinded, grinded, I guess. Welded or something. It's an interesting piece of equipment. Just some like generic work. There's like a little mini excavator going. And a plate with some holes in it behind the lights that definitely does. so okay is that one of the plates that goes between the main structures where that you have bolts that are coming through and it's all huh i was looking at the excavator <laughs> and then i realized that was there we're gonna do the nose cone roll through the factory windows here again not a lot of tiles but a lot of studs on that one you can see a robotic arm there in the background and somebody was that a label maker which was that person carrying <laughs> Anyways, folks, it's a Starbase summary. My name's John. If I reply to your comment, I'll probably say DOS. Like I said, I am in New York City. Slow zoom to the stop sign. Because we're out here for Kids Week at the Intrepid Museum, supporting the STEM outreach. And <laughs> sharing that with folks who can't make it out here. If you're in New York tomorrow and you stop by Intrepid Museum, find me. I'll be doing the live stream. I have a patch for you if you find me. But for now... That's going to be it, and we will see you nerds later.